I mean, it's a compound problem, but you, you have to find the wavelength before you do anything anyways. But yeah. it tells you also to find the frequency. Okay, anyway, so let's read it. It says, the hydrogen atom produces a very strong spectral line in the red region of the visible spectrum. This spectral line corresponds to the electronic transition from the n equals 3 energy level to the n equals 2 energy level. What are the wavelength and frequency of this light? So, hopefully you can see Rydberg equation all over that, right? So, what's the Rydberg equation? What's and in this little? case, lambda. lambda. Yeah, that thing, lambda. So yeah, you get this is the start learning your the symbol keys on your keyboard actually. So or your Greek letters if you want to think about it that way. So one over n two squared is one over n one squared. Okay, n two remember is the final one. N one is the initial. one. So, where does it go? It goes from 3 to 2. Right, so, and 2 equals 2, and 3 equals, oh, and 3 equals, and 1 equals 3. Okay. So, is this, uh, like what we were talking about earlier, I know this is talking about energy, but is this going to be negative in energy or positive in energy? Negative, right? Because it's going from three to two. That's it's like falling and splatting on the floor, right? It doesn't take any energy to fall off the desk, right? But it takes energy to climb up the desk. It takes energy to go from what two to three or whatever, you know. But no energy to be like, ah, that fell down. Okay. So anyway, what are we solving for again? Wavelength and frequency, right? So. I mean, plug and chug, I guess uh, you know the Rydberg constant, and if you don't, it's given to you. I think it's going to be positive. This is not, this is wavelength, not energy. Oh. Oh. Wavelength is always positive, right? It doesn't make sense to have a negative wavelength. That's what I was mixing yeah. up. Like yeah, this is not the energy equation, right? The Rydberg constant for the energy equation, remember, what is that? It's going to be negative 218, right? So that's where you get that negative from. So like that, right? If you want to flip it you, now, you can. You don't have to. I do 
that I did. Then that equals that. Yeah, let's see. Because again, this is having the meters on the bottom. Okay, meters on the bottom here, right? So we have to get that meters on the top, and in order to do that, we flip it over. So yeah, I didn't put that step. Okay, so now that we have the wavelength. Let's do the frequency, and actually I don't need those anymore. So that's wavelength. So C equals nu. There's another Greek letter for you. Nu. Sometimes I'll call it V, but it's actually nu. Lambda. And you know C, and if you don't, it's given to you. So it's cool, I know mostly we want to put these in nanometers, but keep it in meters because you're going to have, whoops, you're going to have the meters here. So we're looking for frequency now. So frequency equals C divided by lambda, which equals 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per one second. And lambda is that, right? So it's like 1 divided by 6.563 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Cancel, cancel, right? And frequency, of course, is in the value of hertz, right? In the units of hertz, which is also the units of per second, which is what we got. So again, like I always say, if you can cancel out your units, then you should be good, okay? So, I'm just going to knock on the doors from the hallway. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. So 4.57 times 10 to the 14. And that's per second, right? And hertz is the same thing as per second. So, did everybody else get that answer? Okay. Any questions about this? If you didn't get that answer, then it's probably something that would you go. No, I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Any questions? Questions? Okay. Do does it should I put it on the video? Okay, cool. Any other questions?